the first video in the ESS course looking at systems and models. Science often looks at very small uh, aspects of a particular subject and only at those aspects. That's called the reductionist approach. The environmental systems and societies um, course looks at a more holistic approach. A holistic approach looks at the entire system that's being studied rather than just individual components of that system. Systems can range in sizes from subatomic particles through organisms all the way up to the universe. A system consists of the storages of matter and energy, flows that move in or out of the system, processes which transfer these um, either matter or energy from the system or into the system, and then feedback mechanisms which maintain equilibrium and maintain stability in the system. Not all systems are scientific. You can, you can have economic systems, political systems, geographical systems, various other systems when analyzing other subject areas. But the environmental systems course obviously follows on, focuses on ecological or environmental systems. This tree as an example of a system. The tree itself is represented by a box, representing the biomass of the tree. In the arrows going in represent anything that goes into the tree, so the carbon dioxide, light, heat, uh, water, nutrients. And the arrows coming out of the box are um, flows of matter or energy out of the tree. So again, heat is radiated out, uh, water, oxygen, um, diffuse out, organic molecules to the next trophic level if something eats it, um, any leaf litter, etc. passes to the soil. So the tree is an example of a system. A system uh, can be represented by a box diagram. The box represents the storage of matter or energy, um, so the biomass as well as the bond energy contained within the biomass in the case of the tree. And the arrow shows the flows um, of the inputs and the outputs going in and out of the storage, and any labels on the arrows which show the processes that cause these flows, things like photosynthesis, respiration, diffusion, etc. Ecological systems come in a variety of sizes. They can reach from a single bromeliad plant to hot springs, such as the yellow sun hot spring on the left, through to large biomes like African savannas, all the way up to the entire planet. The Gaia hypothesis was proposed by James Lovelock in the 1960s and saw the Earth as an entire living system, with the ability for the Earth to maintain its um, systems in a similar way as our body can control our systems using homeostasis. There are three types of system. You have an open system, where matter and energy is exchanged between the system and the environment. You have closed systems, where only energy can be exchanged, but the matter is contained within the um, system. And you have an isolated system, where neither matter nor energy can be exchanged with the surroundings. All natural systems are by definition open systems. Organisms need to take in materials and need to take in energy in the, as the form of chemical bond energy in food or that light energy for plants. And all organisms produce waste and radiate energy to their environment. Closed systems only see an exchange of energy across the boundary of the system. And if you look at the planet, Earth, then you can see it as a closed system, um, disregarding meteorites and spaceships and the like. So energy enters from the sun, energy leaves through thermal radiation. In the ecosystems, smaller closed systems might include the water and nitrogen cycle, even though that is an approximation rather than a completely closed system. Um, naturally existing isolated systems um, don't exist as far as we are aware. You, we assume that the universe as a whole is an isolated system, but again we're not quite sure. Um, an artificially isolated system would be something like a perfectly insulated container where there's no possibility of um, exchange of either matter or energy, um, so no heat energy could uh, radiate out or um, no light energy could move in, there's no particles that can escape from the container. So those are the three systems, um, cl closed, open and isolated. Um, and that's the end of the system sections um, for the environmental systems and societies. Next we'll look at the laws of thermodynamics and um, equilibrium.